Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss, back again with another video. And today we're gonna do a quick unboxing of the LG Velvet. Now, as far as pricing and availability, I'll update y'all with that information as soon as I get it. But let me say this. Last week, I bought one on eBay for 650 bucks. Now, I didn't know LG was gonna send me this, so the one that I bought, I'm gonna do a giveaway when I do my full review. All right, so let's go through the specs. Now, this one comes in six different colors. You got new black, illusion sunset, aurora white, gray, green, and silver. Now, this is a 5G phone. For the display, you got a 6.8 inch POLED panel with a resolution of 1080 by 2460. Now, that's 395 for the PPI Patrol. It's made out of glass and aluminium. It's IP68, dust and water resistant, and it's MIL STG 810G drop test approved. For the processor, you got the Qualcomm Snapdragon 765G with the Adreno 620 GPU. What does that mean in English? High tier, mid range specs, bro. All right, upper tier, mid range specs. Now you got six gigs of RAM, 128 gigs of storage, and a micro SD card slot for expandable memory up to two terabytes. It's running Android 10 with LG UX9 skin on top. You got a 4,300 milliamp battery that features 25 watt fast charging via quick charge 4.0 and nine watt fast wireless charging. All right, so we got wireless charge on deck. For the cameras, on the rear, you got a triple setup. So you got a 48 megapixel wide angle, an eight megapixel ultra wide, and a five megapixel depth sensor. On the front, you got a 16 megapixel lens. Now you also got an on-screen fingerprint sensor, dual stereo speakers, and a headphone jack. Now this phone is compatible with the LG dual screen case. All right, so let's unbox this and see what it is. First things first, shout out to White Shoes, back in the building. I love my white shoes. I love my white shoes. I love white my shoes. White shoes. Calm down. All right, here we go. Now, of course, this is the reviewer's box. So when you get it, it's just going to be a regular box. But let me say this. I've been doing this a long time, and I got a lot of reviewer's boxes in the mail. But never this one, never did I get one that was this sick. Check this out, bro. This is velvet. Y'all know how I feel about velvet, right? This is velvet. Let's go. This is beautiful. What is that, velvet? All right, so we got the little LG velvet on the top. Let's open this up. Okay, LG velvet, all velvet material. I love that. This is going to be your phone. Okay, let me grab a little unboxing knife. Let's see what we got on deck today. Got the tiger tooth. Here we go. Rah. Okay, LG Velvet. Now this looks like the Aurora Green version. All right, we'll leave that for a second. Let's see what else is in here now. This is going to be your usual books and shit. Pluck them and follow them. Some ejection tool. That's pretty much it. 25 watt fast charging brick. USB type C charging cable. And what is this now? Do we got headphones? Let's see. Okay, check this out. We got a set of LG headphones. Braided cable. All right, I'm feeling that. Let's see, do we have inline controls? We sure do. Inline controls. Play and pause, volume up and down. Real nice. Now for the LG Velvet. Let me peel this little stick off. Rah. Let's get a little wipe down. Now this is going to be the Aurora Green version. Woo! Check that out. Y'all see the raindrop camera? All right, that's what LG is calling this, the raindrop camera. Because it looks like a drop of rain just hit it and just naturally dropped down to the side. I'm feeling this. Let me do the smell test on this one. Yes, this is that Aurora Green. All right, smells like money right here. All right, let's see what else is in this box. Now we got a little drawer right here. Woo, check this out. Yo, LG, y'all did it big on this one. I respect that. Okay, so let's see. Now, just in case you don't speak English, it's pronounced LG Velvet. Premium, smooth, luxurious, sleek. Velvet, bro, this is velvet. Okay, so we got a few different cases. We got a design skin. We're going to check this one out in a minute. Let's see. This looks like 
Okay, another design skin. Something funky with a little strap on it. I like that. We got the Smart Stylist, all right, Bamboo Ink. We'll check this one out. And of course, since it's compatible with the LG dual screen case, let's take a look at the uh, dual screen case. Why not? Let's pop this one open real quick. All right, the case is trolling me. Here we go. Okay, now this one is tough. Got the white color. Dual screen case. Oh, now this one has a nice soft satin feel to it. Got your rugged texture on the back. Okay. Dual screen case. Now, just for size comparison, this is one of the most underrated phones of the year. All right, the LG V60 with the dual screen case. Let's pop this one off real quick. You can find one of these right now if you look hard enough for around 700 bucks. This is ridiculous. All right, so let's see. V60, LG Velvet. All right, shoes, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna need these headphones, bro. Chill. Let's see. Okay, V60 is a little bit taller, a little bit wider, and definitely a little bit heavier. All right, so let's get one more wipe down. Bang! Woo! Yo, shoes, check this out. Do you see this? I'm gonna pause the video. Let me grab my information. We'll set this up and walk through the OS. Talk amongst yourselves. But let that green soak in. All right, y'all, so we back in. First, let's check for wireless charging. Wireless charge on deck. Next up, let's talk about the build quality. Now, y'all know I gotta say it. Feels so good in the hands. Ladies, you know the procedures. Six beautiful colors. IP68 dust and water resistant. Mill STD 81 OG drop test approved. This is a go. I love the raindrop camera. Feels lightweight, but it screams premium. On one side, there's your power button. On the top, you got your SIM tray and a mic. On the other side, you got volume up and down. You got your Google Assistant button. On the bottom, speaker grill, USB Type-C charging slot, headphone jack, Samsung, Apple, pay attention, headphone jack, Google, headphone jack, let's keep it alive. On the front, got a little notch and another little speaker grill embedded in the earpiece. Now, there's a couple of different ways you can open up the device. If you notice, you also have an always on display. That's part of my checklist. If you want to, you can swipe up, put in your pattern and your pin. No face unlock on this one. But you also have your on-screen fingerprint sensor, which works flawlessly. Let's try that one more time. Bang. No problems with that. Let's run through the OS real quick. Now, for your toggles, you got screenshot, screen recording, NFC. All right, so you got card mode. You got LG 3D sound engine. Always turn that on. Let's see, you got screen sharing. Let's take it over to settings. Now I'll try to do this quick. Let's see, you got your VPNs and your private DNS. All right, for your scumbag internet browsing. NFC, Bluetooth. Uh, you got file sharing and printing. Let's go to sound. Let's see, anything we need to check out. Let's do, uh, let's go to volume real quick. Dual speakers. Nice and loud. I'll check those out in a minute. Let's see. Let's go to uh, notifications. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Nothing to really see there. Display. Okay. Let's see. Blah, blah, blah. Google feed. Turn that on and off. Home screens. Now, if you want to, you can have an app drawer or no app drawer. Do your thing. Always on display. Let's check out night mode. Whew. There it is. I got to leave that on. I love the night mode. You got video enhancer. Turn that on. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Everything else is normal. Let's see. Wallpapers and themes. Private. Let's go to uh, lock screen. Like I said, no face unlock on this one. But you do got your secure lock settings. Blah, blah, blah. Let's go to uh, extensions. Okay, you got smart doctor. Contact. Uh, context awareness. Personalized service. Gaming. Dual apps. You got pen mode. All right, we'll play with that. In a second, when I check out this pen, let's see anything else. Digital well-being. 
Okay, monitor your internet savagery. No need to go through that. Accessibility. If you're hearing or visually impaired, you got all your different settings. So you're good to go. And if you want to, you don't have to use these swipe gestures. You can have your three on-screen buttons. Now, I'm trying to get in the habit of using these swipe gestures. Break out of my old ways. But it is what it is. So far, fresh out of the box. No lag on this one. Snapdragon 765G. Look. Don't let the numbers fool you. This is basically a flagship device. All right, it's basically a flagship status. Beautiful. Let's check the uh, web browsing speeds. Go to apple.com. Opening web page. Okay, let me just set, let me set up my, <laughs> of course. Let's do that one more time. Go to apple.com. Opening web page. Okay, there it is. Full website. Nice scrolling speeds. Now, it's not 120 hertz, but it's going to get the job done. Let's go to, uh, let's see. Matter of fact, hold on a second. All right, my bad. Now, I just said I want to learn the gestures, but I'm so old school, I can't do it. I like having the three buttons on the bottom. Okay, like I said, we on Apple. Scrolling speed is nice and smooth. Now, if we want to, we can pin this app, or we can open it up as a pop-up, so I can still be scrolling around. Let's minimize that. Turns into the little ball. I can open up YouTube. Now, while I'm on YouTube, if I want to go back to Apple, bang, we still in there. Let's open this up full screen. Now, I want to show you something else. We can do multi-window. Okay, that's going to be your split screen multitasking. So now I got Apple on the top, YouTube on the bottom. Nice and smooth. Speaking of YouTube, let me pull up a video so y'all can look at this beautiful display and listen to these speakers. All right, so I got my usual test video. Check this out. Let's go full screen. Speakers are nice and loud. Let's cover up the bottom. You still hear music on the top. Beautiful curved display. I'm feeling this. I hope the price is right. Check this out. Now this is max brightness. Excellent viewing angles. Let's go. All right, let's keep it moving. All right, so now let's take a look at the camera. Now, see you're having lunch and it's getting ready to go down. All you got to do is grab your phone. Here's your World Star Hip Hop button. Press the volume down twice. That'll open up your camera. If you want to start recording or shooting, press it again. There it is. All right, so you got your quick draw status. Let's go through the different shooting modes. You got time lapse video you got photos let's see uh, for photos you got your wide angle all the way up to 10 times zoom you got portrait mode you got your 3d stickers all right that's pretty cute <laughs> carrots right, you got some kitty cats bananas do your thing and of course you got night view panorama Manual camera, slow motion, YouTube live, and your AR stickers, and of course you can download more. Let's take it over to video settings. Now the max resolution is 4K. Now if you want 60 frames per second, full HD. All right, so I'll show y'all some test pictures and videos when I do my full review. All right, so now let me show you the best phone accessory known to mankind, the LG dual screen case. This is so sick. Once you put it on your phone, you're going to get max level protection. Now, it comes with a little adapter. So, if you want to charge up your phone, plug in your USB Type-C. Now, on a side note, don't lose this. Otherwise, you're going to have to take the case off to charge it up with a USB Type-C. But you can still do wireless charge. Let me show you that real quick. Wireless charge with the case on. Like I said, just don't lose this. 
Otherwise, for USB Type-C fast charging, you're gonna have to take the case off. All the cutouts on deck, headphone jack, speaker grill, cameras. On the front, you got a display, shows you your time, the date, battery percentage, and all your notifications. But once you open up the case, is when the fun begins. Check this out. Two damn phones at the same damn time. Watch this. Let's open up YouTube, rock out with a video. Now let's take it over to Instagram on the other screen. Two fully functional apps. Let's go full screen. Look how sick that is. Now when I do the full review, I'll show y'all some more uses. But the dual screen case is the best phone accessory on the market. Like I said, two damn phones at the same damn time. All right, so now let's take a look at the smart stylus. It actually does look and feel like a pen. Nice heavy weight on this. Takes a quadruple A battery. Call Mike. 718-413-8000. All right, that's my real number. <laughs> I know. Let's hit erase. Okay, basically, a nice stylus. Like I said, when I do the full review, we'll play with all of the features in great detail. But as of right now, let's try red. It's definitely good for writing. Oh, different size, different size tips. Oh, okay. Oh, this is oh, this is dope. I'm right, gonna have some fun with this in a minute. All right, so now let's take a look at these two cases from Design Skin. This one has a nice little leather panel on the back. Red, white, and blue themed. Two credit card slots. Slap this one on. Okay, there's your buttons. Cutouts, buttons, cutouts. A little bit of razivity on this one. But you're buying this one for the look and those two credit card slots on the back. Let's see, we got one more. Okay, same from Design Skin. Let's check this one out. Now let's see what this is. Okay, now this one has a little uh, hand strap. Oh, this is kind of dope. Check this out. A little elastic on that. Let's slap this one on real quick. Same thing. Cutouts, buttons, cutouts, buttons. Cat hairs on, on deck. But on the back of this, let's see. Now this actually has a little slot on the back too. So if you want to, you could probably slap something in there if you want it. But basically, you're buying this one for this little grip. Oh, I like this right here. All right, so you're outside doing your thing. Got a little grip. Phone is not going to drop out of your hand. Let's see. Now, I'm right-handed, so I'll rock it like this. Oh, this is tough. All right, I like these. All right, design skin. Let's wrap this up. All right, so overall... Fresh out of the box, the LG Velvet is a major, major, major go. And depending on how LG prices this, this could be the deal of the year. When I do my full review, I'll let y'all know everything that I like and everything that I don't like. But so far, this is checking all of the boxes and the dual screen case accessory is out of this world. Now, like I said earlier, I actually bought the Sunset version of this. So when I do my full review, I'm gonna give one of these away. I think I fell in love with this green color, but we'll unbox the Sunset one anyway and see which one I'm gonna give away. But like I said, so far, this is a triple major go. Let's just hope LG sets the price right. Anyway, LG Velvet, hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about this one. Shout out to everybody rocking with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google Plus. Shout out to all the Google gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Boxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time, 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the new stream on Sundays. Y'all already know, stream gangsters on deck. Get your drinks ready, no meat boys allowed. Oh yeah, special shout out to everybody following me on Snapchat, Flossy underscore Carter, that's where I'm at. And a special shout out to the notification squad. I'll see y'all in the comment section early. Hashtag salute.
Oh yeah, one more thing. I almost forgot. Fellas, ladies, say it with me. All y'all haters, all y'all trolls, close your eyes and pitch and be rolling. It's your boy Floss, I'm out. Deuces. Enterprise, Spock here. Spock wanted to beam up. Energize. This is beautiful. What is that, Velvet? <laughs>